Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. I need to bring this with me to Juno. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. One more season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? get invested in the lives of real people? Why would it be in here? I don't really have time to dig through this right now. Probably not gonna see any stars at this time of day. Pfft. I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. I could look at this artwork all day. 
Not the prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. No. In my desk drawer, maybe? All set. I think. <sighs> is he gonna like this? Or is it too much? It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. So that's where you've been hiding. All right, I think I'm ready to go now. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. <sighs> Bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need it more than I do. Been listening to this on a loop lately. He's going places, and I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. Hmm, is there any way I can? Nah, that's someone else's problem now. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Uh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief, but they have good hearts. 
by Herbert. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope, this is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. 
Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point, and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told, um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? 
Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you. Not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie. Or even... Uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. It's so weird being back on this boat. He took the ring. Okay, see you soon. What a waste of a good pun. <laughs> Charming.
Hmm. Hmm. Impressive, ain't she? You planning to land a moose with that? Good eye. Well, they're drawing a bull tag up this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? I fish, mostly. No shame in that. Anyway, you'll find there's lots of good fishing spots around right here. If you know what to look for. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaska natives then. Clay kid, I know. I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. I'll see you around town. Hey, Allison, can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. We're here, shall we? Let's go. Back to the car, Ronan.
Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. We gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. At least we don't seem to have any squatters. Um, no beavers. Too bad. A picture of him would have helped with the sale. Yeah, city people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife, but not the kind that eats the insulation. Situated comfortably in the ass of the world, solicitors will never come knocking. In fact, no one will ever come at all. Yep. We should do this for a living. Yes. Yes, we should. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. You still fish? Nope. You? Every Sunday morning. Once I could leave fireweed, of course. Alone? Totally. At first, it kind of made me crazy. And then I started to really like it. It was relaxing. Really? Yeah, you know, the lake, the water, the sky, me, just a speck in the middle of it all. A speck with a slip? Always. You really want to go out there? No, you're right.
Oh. Looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. I can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah. She scared everybody else off, too. I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Hey, it's locked, all right. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, Matt. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted stuff like that to last. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. smoke something before you left fireweed? The door's right there. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. A 
It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah. We stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. Just lie down and take an At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. It's locked, all right. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? Everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. 
No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room, then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. So, which one of you is hiding the key, hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping the secret, buddy. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. You really want to go out there? No, you're right. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. You still fish? Nope. You? Every Sunday morning. Once I could leave fireweed, of course. Alone? Totally. At first, it kind of made me crazy. And then I started to really like it. It was relaxing. Really? Yeah, you know. The lake, the water, the sky. Me, just a speck in the middle of it all. A speck with a spliff? Always. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Can hear you in my head. Our 
voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch? I, I think so. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Then left again after the goblins. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. You were right, sis. Of course. A goblin never forgets where she stashed her treasure. Not even should a thousand years pass. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Pink. It always had to be pink. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. But we were the mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams.
Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Let's see, broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil, energy hogs. I hated it. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear him very long. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Mary Ann. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. There were so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. The handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short. Really short. What? Look, I'm tired! And I'm busy! Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me.
What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. <laughs> we were, just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. She pinched every penny. Remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these at my keep. She took so many pictures. Yeah, like she had to document every second of our lives. It made her happy, and it was kind of nice to see her smile. I guess. You okay? All these happy pictures. They look so sad now, so staged. I know. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. That was the one time we were ever quiet. We knew she needed the sleep. We all needed her to sleep. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. But not the part where it got broken, especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Becky store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. Where'd you come from? If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way, wait for me. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. 
Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pal. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. <laughs> I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie, back then. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it.
Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave, not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touché.
think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. All right, one more try. And boom. We're in. After so many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? This explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Ugh. Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. It's here! I knew it! I fucking knew it! 
Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs>
Stop! Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone and, oh God. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells, men smell bad. I know, I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. So, I was thinking, hmm? do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? We've been over this, and we both agreed it's time for a clean break. I know. Trust me. 
I'm not talking about staying for long. Just long enough to get some answers. And you think this house has those answers? Maybe not, but it's a place to start. Well, it would be a shame if there was something to find and we tossed it out. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. If you squint, you could almost forget Talos Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. Are you ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. I already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. At least the glacier's still there. You have to wonder just what kind of stories it could tell. You know, if it had a mouth. Remember the ice cave? The old bear's den? That's the one. It would have made a perfect secret base if we'd ever been able to find it again. You know, I actually went looking for it a few years ago. Really? No way. So? We found it, but the entrance had collapsed. Ah, bummer. Nice ring. Gift from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. Well, guess we better get going. And here I thought you'd never tear yourself away. Yeah, sorry. Views like this, I just tend to get lost in them. Go ahead, I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. my sister, the social butterfly. <laughs> Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Are you... Brother? 
Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh... Uh, I've never seen it, dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Ugh. I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just, you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh... uh, uh so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Let me...
Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um... Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. All right. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Uh, Get going, you two. Um, Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh... Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm, this place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay. Go on, I'll be right behind you. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. 
I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah. There's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish, even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. It's a dome. You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Tessa still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's going to totally screw up salmon migration. Tessa still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. 
<laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What do they think up next, huh? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. How's it going, Tom? Great. The campaign's prospects have got me completely energized. The pumpkins get bigger every year. Well, you know, our produce vendor has won several ribbons at the Alaska State Fair. I heard she spent a thousand dollars on her starter seeds. Can you imagine? So, how's the day off going? Well, Ty's here, so hard to complain. Good for you. Family's important. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I should grab the bait for my next fishing trip. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. <laughs> Remember how we would stage sit-ins at the candy aisle? What do we want? Candy corn! When do we want it? Before we go home! Ah, candy corn. So nasty. So, what are you thinking snack-wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Oh man, I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency at Fireweed, like ramen in state prison. Well, you won't need to trade any shifts for these. So, uh, what kind of lure would you use for a steelhead? Well, it's hard to beat little Cleos, but depends on conditions. Wait, is this a pop quiz? <laughs> hey, I have to be sure. What, you think I'm, like, catfishing you? Well, can you blame me for being skeptical of an outdoorsy Rona? Hmm, 
No. No, I cannot. So, cleaning products. You think we should get the organic one? Or the industrial strength planet killer? Organic. We might have to scrub a little harder, but I'd never be able to look those beavers in the eye again if we use those chemicals. Organic one it is? Do you think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. OJ sound good to you? Yep. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. 30 bucks for a bottle of birch syrup? It's worth it. Michael refuses to serve his pancakes with anything else, and they're the best part of waking up. Hmm. Man, I wish we had I should write down their info for after the move. On frozen waffles. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. Hmm. Plain candles are fine. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder! Inventory, huh? Ugh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. It is, and it doesn't help that everyone around here keeps making it weirder, but he's doing okay, all things considered. Hmm, I feel like there's a story there. Come on, spill. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me.
Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? No, Tessa was. She went all Jack Thompson on her. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, 
not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it, hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Is there something I can do for you? No, never mind. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. What's this doing here? Is there something I can do for you? No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but, uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? Hmm, <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes.
This is it, right? Think so. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa.
What are we waiting for? Let's go talk to Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Um... I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was... coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help. Both of you, at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just, uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she... had my back. It really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. I guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go.
This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. Too soon, Tyler. Too soon. Too little, too late. Oh, that's still not cleaned up? Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. <sighs> of course, it's locked. Locked. Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Eddie must have locked it already. <clears throat> what do you know? Still locked. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. Uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like, hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. Huh, why do they look so familiar? Box bandit, huh? Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. 
He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Gregs? Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. I think D was a dog in a past life. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Oh, huh. looks like she forgot her locker key here. Something's in the way. Tyler, you coming? Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. 
Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Okay, let's go in. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Yep, it's locked. Hey, is this Crazy D's locker? Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. I wonder what Delos Crossing's best cop stash is in our locker. Maybe she keeps a spare key somewhere? What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah. On that paper-thin mattress from the cell. <sighs> it could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here 10 minutes and it's already fucking me up. It never really stopped hurting. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah, why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like we'd be sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson, and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. So... Are things going to be weird at all between you and Eddie? I took the gift, Allison. I'm trying to make an effort. Thank you. I know. 
I just want everything to be cool. It will be. Let's go? Yep. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> she won't notice if we borrow this, right? We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. Balto came through. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Oh yeah, she goes to the Iditarod every year and she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. I should take her out for a birthday drink. I'm not that hungry. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. I'm not going in. 
I'm not going in. How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? It's the first time I've been wow. in here since... that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. here all this time? I'm pretty sure Chief Brown is done with his phone call by now. Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry. Trying to deal, but it's a lot. never lets me back here.
Bingo. Anything juicy? Just Denise's work emails. Oh, Sam. What about him? He got arrested for public intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for... being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. <laughs> That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. 
but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No! Please! Please! Mom, no! Mom, please! No, don't do this! Tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs>
So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long-gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. We should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste.
to call for help. Hey, you doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay, no, we're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No, on your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip. Two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff in the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. What to do with this?
Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. The big frog is an effervescent creature who tries to be kind, but is also a tireless gossip. The Ice King punished her once by telling her his deepest secret. If she ever tells anyone, she'll lose her voice forever. completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor Volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn, didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy, and she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right, what's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. You hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <gasps> my sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes, all I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Allison. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan.
I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? No. I remember her saying that, that sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen and that it wasn't a big deal. But still, no more tea parties inside. Steady now, take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes! Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -mm. So good. Hmm, crummy table and wobbly chairs. We ate way too much expired food on this table. Oh, oh God, that's, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the Magpie. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem.
We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh. I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Maybe someone could clean it up? It's well made. Your call. Keeping it. And what do you know? More stuff. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming She'll home? be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. God. You scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but the part after that with Marianne, that was less fun. I remember the look that Tessa gave her when she finally came home. If looks could kill, right? Yeah, and Marianne was a mess. But soft, what light through yonder, oh. Wait, it's just you. Clever. Clever. There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. I could use that ball. Okay, let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. Oh my god. Wow, this is unreal. What is it? Allison's a uh, big fat loser. You're no better at insults than you were at 11. <laughs> Why mess with perfection? Those paddles are pretty cool. Dibs. Baloney. <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney. Alley belly baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you. Again. For the third time today. We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh, good idea. Hey, did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right. I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. 
It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? So long, trusty bunk beds. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm-hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. If you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Hey, Allison, let's look at our drawings. Allison's first drafts. Right, because I didn't contribute at all. Come on, I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. 
She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. You go here. Mm, this one. You done?
All right, I think I'm done. You sure? This time I've got it. <laughs> we'll see. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader, huh? But... I think I get why what I said was wrong, and... I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget... For the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh yeah, that fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. That apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. We should pick up some seed for the birds. Sam's waiting for us. Sam. 
So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that door key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but... <laughs> That's a lot of work for an old door. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, <laughs> just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. Well, until, <laughs> until I got hurt. Little silver bit. It needs to be forced back onto the brass bit. That's probably what was jamming it in the first place. Probably so. You got a good head for this stuff. Yeah, well, you're not the only person who used to fix stuff around here. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much took an army to keep this place standing. Let's try this one. Get frustrated. Try again. Hmm? Seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um...
was that about? Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Preta rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Hey there, little buddy. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Be my guest, but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. It's gonna get infected. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There's more, I can feel it. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to... 
had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Man. I can't believe Brown lied. I mean... I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. It's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, it's just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and, uh, send you the details. Later, hon. few weeks you'll be able to climb to the top of that waterfall with an ice pick. God, I'd love to be able to make something like this.
Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kinda rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? I feel like I've been here before. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh, great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> so, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass, it's just... hard. This whole damn situation is hard. You think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town... these people... They're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends. My family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on, but that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? Oh yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. 
that was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. So I have to warn you, I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. He'll probably say he's too busy to talk. That's how he tends to avoid conflict. We're not looking for conflict, just answers. <sighs> Let's be honest. Lately, that's been pretty much the same thing. I haven't been trying to pick fights. You know that, right? I just want closure, that's all. I know. I need some of it too. People come here from thousands of miles away to look at that glacier, and we get to see it from our deck. I see you have your sales pitch ready for the buyer. I can't believe the old cannery's still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. I can't believe the old cannery's still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Hey, look what I found. Aha, I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. 
I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. <coughs> Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were gonna be meeting the trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out- Two on three, this is dispatch. Uh, you can yes. turn that car around. Yeah, She's gonna take care of the victim. We empty Linda's parents' house? Copy. I thought we'd have to- Better get cracking on that arrest then. How is Linda? Later. I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. The pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so. <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres. You said Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. Yes, she was. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, welcome home. Henderson. Different Thanks. Husband. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh boy. <sighs> what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh well. Don't forget to read him his Miranda rights. So is there anything I can help you with? Busy day around here? No. Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. So I got your note. I'm sorry I got today. I got so All right. Coming in Incident report so states you called yesterday. Oh boy, fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? Your home at huh? I didn't think so. But Come on. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I had to be in surgery at night. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Ah, yeah, of course. Well, listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something else? Uh, yeah. Tyler, uh, can you come here? Hey, we don't need anything up there. Come on. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me? Dr. Torres? Of course. I woke up at five. At morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course. 
Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning? ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Of course. Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. It only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. Over here, Tyler. By the map. definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, sure. Pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, all right. Guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. What happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there.
position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. should be on the other side of the building. Hey, which one's Brown's car? Why? You can tell a lot about someone by the car they drive. Ah, the love language of car people. the artist. Gold case. Was that red warehouse part of the whole chicken farm business? You know it. It's a shooting range now. Ah. Those garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the wildlife channel too, you know. It's right behind me. There's nothing there. Police Chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The Community Social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. <sighs> Saying that here makes me feel even worse. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Why is Brown on a first-name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but... That's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. How old is Brown? 38. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Oh, personnel files, department budgets, 
but zero case files. Huh. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. <sighs> Finally. This guy has a record. And not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information, and computers are basically information pinatas. Mom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Pressing the wrong numbers. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Nope. <sighs> Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? No, 
That's not it. Nope. Well... Huh. What was that reference number again? 05 R68 650. Not this one either. No, that's not it. You finding anything? Nope. Here we go. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. reference some other files and audio recordings though you might be able to look those up on the computer even if our file hasn't been digitized yet they may already have it in the appendix there might be other references on the computer Search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was non-fatal. What? Thank you. 
Okay, I need to check out 05 R63 325. Crossing Police Department. <laughs> hello? Hello? Uh, hello, I, I can hear you. It it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Tw 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Hmm. References 05R61889. Shouldn't police reports be straight and to the point? Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus. Unbelievable. Hallie, Tessa called fucking social services on us. And Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? What's going on? Ready, Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Ah, uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. is 2005-201-546.
Here we go. Wait, what the hell? Tessa accused her of child neglect. I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plain supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. She... I don't know. Right there, she... Must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle.
Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. You've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. Rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Them as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later. Tyler, what's up? I, uh, feel like I owe you an apology. Oh, yeah? What for? Breaking and entering? Invasion of privacy? Sorry. It was messed up. <laughs> don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. So, uh, I saw the invoice from Fireweed. When you were going through my stuff? Right. I, uh... We don't have to talk about it. Oh, uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. So, thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler. You're welcome. Well, see you around then? You know where to find me. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. You two on your way out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Yep. Let's roll on. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you later. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now.
Where is everybody? Tess has got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. said you were near Crystal. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? Hey man, when the Lord opens that kind of door, you walk right through. Yeah, that's not exactly... I got a bull moose in my truck and a bull tag in my pocket. Who's gonna know the difference? Doesn't make it right. Well, no, I didn't realize I was talking to a damn bull. Stripes scout. candy? Never heard of it. Oh man, I haven't had this cereal in forever. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Okay. Thanks. Doing some shopping? Yep. Just the essentials. Well, don't let me stop you. So, I, I heard you were shooting moose outside your permit area. Not really any of your business now, is it? Come on. I'm not gonna report you, but it's a shitty thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah. I'll do that. I thought you were working at the diner today. No, I switched shifts because I wanted to get some sleep, but it turns out I was also scheduled to work at the store today. Michael, Michael. We could use some of that at the house. Because I'm too much of a badass to read a schedule. You're gonna work yourself to death, you know? Yeah, well, I can't really turn the money down. A security deposit is gonna be a bitch. Oh, on that subject, we've got someone coming to check out the house. Come in! Oh, yeah? Yep, and apparently he's paying cash. Holy shit. That's what I like to hear. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you too. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? B vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. 
I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store? and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing, just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah. Like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. I wonder what's in that box.
you know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing this bright paint, Tyler? I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not it. We could use some of that at the house. Why am I standing here looking at this? Oof, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so. Is that the mangy muskrat? Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. Yikes, that's unsettling. Tired already? Remind me where I'm going, and uh, what am I supposed to be counting? Back of the room, and we're looking for molto bene tomato sauce. Hey, you remember the ad for this? What was their slogan again? Huh, something poetic about time travel and life being weird, I think. Hold on, let me count this. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. And where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door on the bottom shelves. All right, I think I can work with that. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? Cold, Tyler. Ice cold. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? 
I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? That box over there. Uh, are you gonna make me beg for specifics? Tempting, but no. See that Bible study poster on the wall over there? That's where you should be looking. Ah, uh, you're too kind. So... Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ow! Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh, damn it. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. So is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Vecchi. Can't sell any of them. Cool, no harm, no foul then. Damn, overshot it. Yo, we better wrap this up soon. Boom. Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. 
But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me, because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I'm made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah, I don't. But thank you. Anyway... And... I'm done. No way! You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor, not our finest hour. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? Thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I, I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> uh, thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean it. I'm glad Allison has you back. You're going to be a positive influence for her. I know it. We are not going to let her die a slow death in QuickBooks. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. You pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Ugh. Here we are.
Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after... You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> always. She loved us, a lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Michael. Hey, graves are back that way.
this again. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. No dice. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Okay, then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So, I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So what was your uncle like? Oh boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner. <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. Pff, no, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold goes double for food. 
Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. <laughs> hey, you do realize I can hear you, right? Cover your ears, the grown-ups are talking. Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Gina's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. <sighs> Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards. You and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. But I'm gonna come... I'll be back soon, alright? Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. It's about to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not today. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy Owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. Marianne's 
you know. It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. No way. Her box is still here? Well, we did cover it in like a hundred layers of glue. And then I took Jane ice skating on Wednesday. I wish you could have seen her. She took off across that ice like she was blown. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store. Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um... It starts with a K, right? Kendra. Don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. I, I hope this isn't rude, but where's that accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's got to be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. We came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then... Well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet, like a frozen desert. Thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... That's gotta be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Sorry. We have to get going. Don't apologize. It was nice talking to you. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. She got kind of stranded out here. Ty. This, this is it. Great. Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Kids, I... 
I, I wasn't expecting to see... What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her, but there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on.
That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tessa's thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree, and your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa, or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she, she... Gave up, but killed her kids? Really? still feels like there's something missing, right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. Oh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Tyler! Tyler, are you alright? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. What happened? They're 
moment, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God, why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah, what the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm, where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh, these planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt for chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. God, he really turned this place upside down. Did he really have to smash everything? He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. One of the valuable stuff's missing. Huh. At least you were spared. Asshole even dumped the drawers. we know how he made the hole. He went looking under the rug? Step back. I'll be fine. person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Hey, doesn't that carving- Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. That did it. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. If 
Fuck. That's rough. This this guy tried to push Mary in to get an abortion, even though she wanted to keep us. That's everything. What the hell? So. Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I tricked. someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Oh. 
How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll, I'll try. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well... If those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison?
There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many opened wounds.
You killed me! He's right. Time to get my shit together. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. <sighs> There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox or 12. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. The days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. What the? I should probably eat something. I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. I can't really eat anything right now. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. Well, now they know everything about me but my blood type.
I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. Maybe if I make something for Dee, it'll help calm me down. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. I almost wish the house had burned down last night. Then I'd never have to see it again. Ah, here's my ID. This place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Eddie loved his Mishka so much. God, the world feels so fucking small right now. Gotta find a way to get out of my head. I haven't had any time to sketch lately. Uh, Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even get it? I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. God, feels like my head's full of screeching monkeys right now. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. This is personal. dust. A C 
secret keeper in her secret keep. Stop sulking! Okay, focus. I'm still missing some things. Secret Keeper in her Secret Keeper. Not here. Not here. I could call Michael, but what would I even say? I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? deal with you right now. Not here.
What's it doing here? Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. I was not in the right headspace to make something last night. I should try it again. <sighs> I've got enough time to carve something for Dee. Ugh, the paint smell in here is kind of overwhelming. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve this is a totally different life. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserved that. This is a totally different life. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. I miss you, pup. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out of here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? No, he's uh, busy out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. So many memories, right? Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, 
We really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I, I'm pretty beat. Oh, oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip? Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tessa are legitimately concerned. Plus, uh, door to door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's going to fall through and, and I'm going to be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. So, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? Oh god. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um... I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? God, everything? My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... 
And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks, I'll try. I need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. At least we didn't spend the night here. What is Greg's up to with the security cameras? He's finally... This cobbler does look amazing. Craig's been whining all day about his diet, but he's not fooling anyone.
we uh, have new rules about civilians hanging around certain parts of the station? Reception booth is out of bounds. Sorry. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. I hope Rosie's better soon. She must have something nasty. Imagine having my mugshot taken right here in front of everyone. Trust me, it'd be the least of your worries. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, Allie, but I really need to finish this before I can break. No worries, I'm not in a rush. By the way, we need to eat at the diner. I kinda called in sick, so Tessa's is out. <laughs> Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Nothing really, just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have... Is anyone ever going to clean these up? Hmm, <sighs> I love the smell of this soap. going on with me this morning? So fucking scary. You all right, kid? Yeah, just super tired. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Uncle's in there. Whew, he's really letting that guy have it. I probably shouldn't eavesdrop, but... No more snooping. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Hey, Gregs. Oh, what are you up to, Allison? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. Then pull up a chair.
I should grab a piece of cobbler before Greg's inhales all of it. Hmm, <laughs> dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and, who oh boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. Hey, Gregs. Huh. So? What's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I... Didn't know that. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Eh, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. And it's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike? And the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. What are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. <sighs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh, wrong. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding, I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. 
Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but... Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to have this conversation right now. I, I had a rough morning. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people... They mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest. Stable. You're not a troublemaker. Tyler. I mean... If he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I... I can't... I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. getting there. them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um, uh, went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? 
What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look. You're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle. It was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? She, she was threatening Tyler. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> But Tyler confessed. He... He went to fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. No, no, no. no. <laughs> How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. But we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. 
And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. I, I should have seen it. I, I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you, too. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I... I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Damn it. Good. He's here.
All right, let's do this. Yeah, I'm fine. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the haul. And I've been, uh, missing some tools I need, so... It's taking a while. So, um, how's she doing? Huh? You, uh, you go to her diner sometimes, right? Your friend works there? Oh, you're trying to ask me how your ex-wife is doing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we ate at the diner the other night. She was there. She had just cut all her hair off. No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of a banana. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. <clears throat> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh... Did you need something? I, um, I was just driving by and wanted to see how you were doing. I heard there was some trouble on the docks. There's always trouble on the docks. Impressive collection. You want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. Whoa. That's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. Well, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but, uh... I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Uh, where's your brother? We... had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up... Right up till the end. to do. Of course. I mean, the whole life, uh, lives in there. No shame. Some 
rusty ass junker. God, this article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Fish have gotten puny, spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but we sure as hell are going there. <laughs> Shit, these freaking nuts are stuck. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. <laughs> ah! Oh, damn it! <sighs> what happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. <sighs> Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for, he ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two were so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. 
I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. When was the last time you cracked a window? Looking sharp, first mate Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that that was uh, a long time ago. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Oh, uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I worked the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull, ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. Much better. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Take a seat. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. Have a look. What's all this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. Your mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. Swords and schemes. Oh, I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword.
I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juneau. Uh-huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. <laughs> Look at these ones. She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was gonna be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Al, are you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that, it's all we got left. <laughs> you can't just throw it away. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. <laughs> it stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out one morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> gotta remember.
Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey. I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel him in. Come on. Pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. Come on. Pull up on the rod. I got it. Mm. Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. 
I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? Told you earlier, I'm a very serious man. You got anything good in there? Maybe, but who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine, be that way. All right, here we go. I'm here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, <laughs> nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, do you always drive around with an auger in your car? It's not how it looks. Okay, I swear. I, I was already planning on going ice fishing with the family this weekend. I made a mistake of forgetting the auger one, so we had nothing on hand but an ice chisel. That'll scar a man for life. <laughs> Fair enough. So, what are you gonna make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. Slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, walnuts, just a drop of olive oil, pure perfection. As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Works for me, partner. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here? You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got that. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to 
put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. You okay? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later? You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. 
This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. I thought I saw something right over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. No lever. Man, this place is a mess. If there was ever a time to find a magic portal. Just a regular old light switch. Nothing here. For a second, I thought there might be another secret stash down here, but uh, just a loose plank. I thought I saw something right over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. Need to see the picture again? The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Can you see anything? Nope, nada. Here, found a switch. Holy shit. 
Well, that shaved a few years off my life. left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. Okay. Spot the differences. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So we saved Marianne from something, but not in this version? It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. Is there an extra star here, or am I just imagining that? Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. Looks like the princess is running away from it. So, Marianne ran away from home. And she grew up kinda rich? The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories, or after. Yeah, at some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. It's just a random star. No special meaning. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief, but they have good hearts. The mad hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. The wise princess is a runaway from a far off land. She won't tell anyone what she's running from, because just thinking about it makes her cry. She's friends with all the animals in the forest, and has a kind and generous soul. The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. She has a magical beak that is always full of food and never empties. The Ice King is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful that no one dares to challenge his commands. The big frog is an effervescent creature who tries to be kind, but is also a tireless gossip. The Ice King punished her once by telling her his deepest secret. If she ever tells anyone, she'll lose her voice forever. The stalwart moose is a kind and loyal animal. He always criticizes the goblins for their tricks, but he actually likes them. The mangy muskrat is a lazy, cowardly creature who spends most of his time lying around in the sun cleaning his coat. The very old beaver is a helpful and industrious creature. She's the princess's most loyal friend. The moon hag is an old and powerful witch. She lures her innocent victims deep beneath the ice and traps them there forever. The secret keeper is a traveling woman who buys and sells secrets. 
She stores all these secrets in the clouds because nobody ever looks up when they're searching for hidden things. The old bear is a mighty beast who lives in a beautiful cave of ice. He is in love with the wise princess, but she doesn't love him back. The gold lady is the wise princess's cruel mother who sent the mad hunter to drive the girl back to the palace. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Back in your pond, big frog. There you go, stalwart moose. The Ice King goes in the forest, obviously. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. The old bear's gotta be in his ice cave. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. The very old beaver definitely goes in her den. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Uh, the mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. Crafty goblins go here. That's the pious pelican spot. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. Did you know she studied engineering? No, but it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer, Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, some of them do anyway. Maybe that's it then. We need to figure out which ones are real. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures? I don't think she was having any fun. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Huh. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. 
Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? Her father. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried, who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Is that Carol? Yeah. And Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. This just lit up, so I think we're supposed to try this one next. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. Her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. And then, he was just gone. 
I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah, but we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. All right, should be easy enough. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> Did it just get darker in here? A baby blanket? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. I was her son. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Leo Rona. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. Very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls.
She slapped the post with her. All right. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Crafty goblins, good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Wait. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Hazelnuts. Wait. Huh. Fresh caught salmon? A handful of ripe berries? A newly bloomed bluebell? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Crafty Goblin's Loot. That's from the Princess and the Two Thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Maybe they took some of the Princess's fruit? I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. 
Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I mean, I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. Here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. Really 
expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. So what do we do now? We tell him he's gotta fix the mess he made. One way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. And you just couldn't risk being there when it happened. Even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. None of this would have happened if you'd manned the fuck up! I didn't have a choice. I know it shouldn't have happened. But... Well... Your mother was... a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would've. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother.
No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <laughs> No, I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back. Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. 
fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler. That was meant for us. It was her way of... of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey. It's okay. I'm here. Hey, what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Will it have aged well, or just count bad? Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. 
And if it stays bad, we can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the moon hag, but she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the think? day he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. One last look, I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I... I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> Did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now.
see you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Alice's mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. For posterity. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. She finally dumped his ass. Sucks to suck, Thomas Anthony Fecky. is so weird, but at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. Gonna miss this. One more jog down memory lane, Mr. Ronan? Hey, 
I'm having a private moment with me, myself, and I here. <laughs> okay, carry on. I hope the next goblin family bakes a lot of sand pies in this. Guess you guys moved on too. It's too bad Tessa closed her cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just dropped them off at Bernie's. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. Hey, Aaron, it's Ty, Tyler Ronan. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around, and thank you. <laughs> 